She is a Texas High alumni and a Texarkana native who was Miss Texarkana in 2022. Today we are talking to Miss Elizabeth Smith, who is currently serving as Miss Richardson. Well, thank you for joining me today, Elizabeth. So you are gearing up for your big competition in just a few weeks, vying for Miss Texas, correct? Yes, ma'am. So let's hear more about that. Absolutely. So on June 25th through June 29th, I will be competing for the title of Miss Texas in the city of Richardson, which is the one I'm representing. Um, I'll compete in a private interview with the judges, on stage question, health and wellness, talent, and evening gown. Elizabeth, how long have you been competing in pageants for? So this is my eighth year. I started when I was 13 years old and my first local was actually Miss Texarkana. I did not win. I competed around 40 times after that and stayed resilient and kept going and then ended up winning Miss Texarkana in 2022, which was my senior year of high school. So I got to represent my hometown my final year of school. And Elizabeth, that resiliency um, has followed you because now you have been inspiring yeah. thousands of kids, 2,500 kids already that you have kind of talked to tell us more about that. Yeah, absolutely. So I founded a program called the Buddy Blueprint and it's a leadership program that focuses on mindset management and goal setting because if we're not able to take care of ourselves and our mindset and learn how to set and achieve goals, we can't teach others to do the same and we can't lead others and inspire them. And I do that a lot through my story and sharing how I was a shy and quiet girl sitting in the corner of her classroom afraid to raise her hand to someone who's been able to speak to millions of people worldwide about the importance of these things. I've had my curriculum in Uzbekistan, Germany, and the Netherlands through my podcast and web platforms. Elizabeth, what has inspired you um, to take on pageants? I know you were just talking about being yeah. shy, which is new to me. Um, go ahead and tell me, how wh how did it pull you out of your shell? Yeah, so absolutely. So I actually began when I saw a headshot in my seventh grade teacher's math classroom, and I was like, I want to do that. I want a cool headshot like that. And the pageant bug bit me after my very first competition. So I've been kept going, and then I realized the Miss America opportunity truly prepares women for the world. And it's done that not only through my directors, but through the opportunities and doors that's opened. I've been able to get into so many schools, speak to so many students who are just like me, and I'm ready to show all of Texas that if a normal girl can do all of these things, then there's no reason that you can't do the same. Elizabeth, I love the way that you put that. So um, let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about how you're working in the community, both at the local and the state level. Yeah, absolutely. So I've been doing a lot of work in elementary schools. I did Chapel Hill M Elementary earlier this year, and I was able to speak to around 500 students. We did our DREAM acronym, which focuses a lot on respect and kindness because those are also pillars of being a good leader. I was also able to start working on my book Buddy and His Blooming Triumph which takes you through the story of Buddy the Bear as he's encountering a storm where his flower is completely destroyed and then he ends up having the help of his support system and his flower ends up growing and he wins the flower festival. So it shows that resilience and having that support system and having people you can look up to is going to help you get through your journey. Elizabeth, you talked about being a shy girl back in the seventh grade and I, I can't even say I, I even see any <laughs> of that right now. Um, so go ahead and tell us a little bit about um, if you do win this crown, what is your next step with that? What are yeah. your plans for the future? Absolutely. So my initiative is to get into every county across the state of Texas with my buddy program, have it implemented nationally, and then also have some things implemented legislatively for school districts to start mindset management and those types of programs in schools. Why do you feel like those are important at such a young level? Because I see some of the pictures yeah. that we have up. Those are little kids, right? Elementary yeah, school age kids. So um, why is it important for you that they get involved with the Buddy Blueprint course? Yeah, absolutely. So when we're little, we're very impressionable and things that are said, we're, we're taught easier and we're able to understand it. So starting at that foundation, letting them know that they have a support, that they can build a plan, that they can manage their mindset, all and it's all within their fingertips. At a young age, it's going to instill that through them throughout their whole journey. They're going to look back and reevaluate those things when they do hit hard bumps in their life and know that, okay, well, I know how I'm going to get through this and we're going to make a plan and we're going to have the right mindset, which is a growth mindset. So knowing that failure isn't going to be a rejection, it's going to be a redirection. Definitely really inspiring, Elizabeth. My final question for you is, um, what do you look forward to the most when competing? What's what's the thing that excites you the most? I absolutely love interview. I get to share a little bit of <laughs> my heart. Tell. We can tell. <laughs> and share a bunch of stories about what I've done in my community and then also my future plans. And the biggest thing is I just want them to know that I'm a normal girl wanting to be Miss Texas to show other normal people that it's possible. Very normal, very beautiful, and very put together. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Elizabeth, for joining us today, and we wish you all the luck Thank as you, you compete so for Miss Texas. Thank you so much.